This is Darlington Creek, a major tributary of the Pimpama River. The creek was once pristine and the water was crystal clear. supports many rare plants. The Cascades once carried only water. Four-wheel drives drive up the watercourse. Where the four-wheel drives have cut a track on the creek bank, the creek has followed. You can see the new creek bed which follows the four-wheel drive track on the right with the old creek line on the left. Debris has filled the old creek channel and sediment has now smothered the creek trees. The trees on the old and the new creek bed are damaged and dying and it opens the canopy to light and weed intrusion. As a result, weeds grow in the direct sunlight and their roots trap the moving sediment. In places, the once clear rocky mountain stream resembles a muddy drain. Four-wheel drives damage vegetation and loosen soil. The four-wheel drive track crosses Darlington Creek many times. The upper banks are eroded and soil is being washed away during heavy rain. Massive amounts of loose soil are being washed down into the creek. Imagine, if you will, the amount of soil from tracks that go all the way to the top of the range. This is a photo of the creek bed in the 2007 drought.
and this is the same place one year later. Eroded tracks eventually become gullies. And when the track becomes impassable, another is made beside it to start all over again. Abandoned vehicles get left in the creek. This car was burnt and abandoned and rolled into the creek. Four-wheel drives drive up the cascades, breaking sumps and dropping oil. Here is a broken rock hit by a four-wheel drive axle and a snapped U-bolt from a suspension. Specialised extreme sport four-wheel drive vehicles bash and break huge rocks. The sediment fills the water holes that once had native fish living in them. Here is a before photograph on the left and an after photograph on the right. and another example of an abandoned vehicle leaking oil and fuel. This is an oil filter broken off an engine. The sediment and pollution, such as oil spills, fills water holes. Sediment washes into Morton Bay, smothering everything on the seabed. Management can make an effort to keep four-wheel drives away from their land. But in a lot of cases, they can't even put up a private property or a keep out sign. Let's follow this track on one of the most environmentally significant sites in South East Queensland. This track goes down 200 metres in elevation to Darlington Creek Cascades below. Here is another example of soil from the track on Wagner's property washing directly into Ormo Creek.
This is a photo of the resultant sediment in Ormo Creek on the left, joining into the Darlington Creek on the right. Compare the runoff in Darlington Creek on the left to the plateau of residential development on the right. Darlington Creek is a major tributary that flows into the Pimpama River, which then flows into Moreton Bay Marine Park. Surely it's the landowner's responsibility to control activities on their land to prevent environmental harm. In January 2010, the results of this lack of control over the use of environmentally sensitive land came to a devastating conclusion. The iron-rich sediments disturbed by four-wheel drives and similar activities was washed down by heavy rain into the lower reaches of the Pimpama River. The sediment mixed with the acidic water there and the resultant chemical reaction severely depleted the oxygen and this killed thousands of fish and crabs.